Hey everybody, my name is David Sibelberg and today we're going to be showing you how to use the Outlook add-in in Outlook for your desktop. So this is going to be very useful for anyone that uses the desktop application of Outlook and you do need to have a Office 365 or Exchange account set up with your email in order to get this little add-ins store up on the top right. If you do not see this store in your Outlook, then that means you probably still need to get Exchange set up or you still need to get Outlook 365 set up. So talk to your local IT person to do that if needed. Uh, if you do see this icon in your Outlook, then you are good to go. And setting it up is as easy as clicking on this button right here and searching for Practice Panther. Now, what this is going to uh, be getting us is a little window on the side that's going to actually allow us to log emails directly from Outlook, uh, browse much of Practice Panther, whether it's looking through our contacts, our matters, uh, pretty much getting to see a lot that Practice Panther has to offer right from the convenience of your Outlook desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for Practice Panther here. Click on that. And then hit Add. And it's as simple as that. After closing out, we'll see that there is a new Practice Panther icon right here. If for some reason you don't see it there right away, perhaps you can always close your Outlook program and reopen it if you need to give it that kind of kick, but it should appear right away. If you're having any sort of trouble in getting the Practice Panther icon to appear, just reach out to our support team anytime. We'll be happy to help you out. Clicking on the icon is going to reveal Practice Panther's window over on the right side. And you can increase this window, decrease this window. You can really resize it to whatever uh, you would like. And to connect to your Practice Panther account, we're just going to hit the green sign in button right here and log in to our account. Once you're logged in and the window is open, any email that you go into, it's going to search for any one that matches. So when we open an email and we hit the button, it'll open the window and search for any contacts that it can find that are involved in this email thread. So any email address in the thread uh, will be searched in Practice Panther. If it finds any contacts in Practice Panther that match any of the existing email addresses in this thread, it'll give you a list right here under the found section. And for every email address that it can't find in Practice Panther, it'll give you the option of adding that contact right here from within Outlook. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one here. So I'm gonna hit add. And you'll notice a lot of what you're gonna see here looks a lot like it does directly inside of Practice Panther. So we're just gonna name this guy here, Helberg Test. You can fill out the rest of the information. You can even invite them to the client portal right here. Uh, you have all of your custom fields here, the ability to add additional custom fields right from within here if you need to. Assign the contact out, tag the contact as well, and save the contact. Almost every single piece of functionality that you can think of inside of Practice Panther is going to be right here within this window. Uh, some exceptions being things like the settings and integration settings, for, for example. Um, but here we are in Helbert test the contact. And if we scroll down, you'll see all the information about them. You'll see the matters tab, the activities, the notes, messages, all the tabs you have in Practice Panther to review any information about this case. You'll be able to review uh, and even add more entries right from within here. Now to log the email, we can't log it the second we create that contact. But the next time we come into this contact, we'll see the button to log the email. So we can hit back to contacts. And then this is what it's going to look like when the Outlook add-in does find a contact that matches. So now that we've created Helbert Test, we can click into it, see the same contact page, and have the option of logging the email right there. So to log it, simply click that button. And it's now, just like that, sent the email into the Activities tab for this contact. This is what the email will look like in summary. If there were any attachments on this email, you would have all the options here to add and include those attachments as well. And uh, you can see the history down here in the bottom, who's involved, and you can even create a time entry right from this email. So I'm going to hit new time entry. And you know, we have to have a matter to record a time entry on Practice Panther, right? 
Luckily, we can create the matter right from here. So I'm not skipping a beat. I'm not leaving Outlook and I'm able to do everything I need to do to get my work done. So we'll say Helberg versus Outlook. High profile case. Uh, we're gonna go down, I'm not gonna fill out anything else. You got your matter right there. Open and close dates. Again, originating, assigned to, tags, all of that good stuff is right there for you and safe. Just like that, I made the matter and I'm back in my time entry with my matter selected. Pick the item I wanna go ahead and bill for. How long was it? So I'll say it was 0.5 hours. Uh, the email header automatically pulls into the description for you, but you can change that if you need to and save. And just like that, I not only logged an email to my contact, but I also recorded a time entry and created a matter in a matter of seconds here. So we can see my matter that I created in my matters list. You can see the activity that I created with that email that I'd logged. And we can see the time entry I created as well. All right, so I uh, just got this wonderful email with uh, a beautiful attachment of a little office puppy we had here for a couple days. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to the David Helberg test file. So I'm gonna hit the Practice Panther button right here. And real quick, we're just gonna be showing off how to uh, upload the actual attachment here to Practice Panther. So I'm hitting the Helberg test contact. I'm hitting log email. And right here we can see the list of attachments, which I can upload right from here. And it's as simple as that. And now the image is stored on Practice Panther attached to the email. From the contacts list here, if you wanted to, you could search for any other contact or matter. So I could search for, let's see if I'm a contact in here. Let's just say I wanted to archive this email, not with David Helberg, but with David Silberberg instead, you can do that. Uh, you can search for any contact you want, put any email anywhere you want. And you can even hit the little menu up here on the top left to simply search for and open a contact or matter from right here, just like the search bar in Practice Panther. Or you can go to any of our big picture pages right here. So I can look at my entire contacts list. I can look at my entire matters list. I can look at my calendar, my activities, my invoices. I can do invoicing from here as well. So there's a lot of things that you can play with here. Things that are not in here are the settings pages and I believe the reports as well. Uh, so please have a lot of fun with it. It's got pretty much everything you need uh, for Practice Panther for your day-to-day -day operations so that you can easily and seamlessly work directly out of your Outlook desktop inbox. Remember, as long as you have Exchange or Microsoft 365, you will be good to go. I'll be happy to get you guys set up. If you ever need any help, just let us know. Enjoy.